What's up, man from Oats Fab? Today, uh, just gonna be having a little look at this new welder. Uh, it's not it's not actually a new welder for me, it's just, uh, this is uh, Inverter Fusion and now stock in Lincoln Electric stuff and this was um, a demo machine they had in there. So they basically said I could have it for a few weeks. See what I think. And uh, I am actually looking to get a new TIG welder. Um, I want something bigger though. I'm probably looking for like a three phase machine, 300 amp or something. So these are, they've got these on special offer at the minute, 2,200 I think it is. But I've got an Urchfab code, which you can use, Urchfab 5. You can get another 5% off anything in there, in Inverter Fusion. It's the new, the new um, version of this machine. Just from playing around with it a little bit so far, the first thing that's really noticeable is how simple everything is on it uh, in comparison to my other machine, which I found that because I, I'm not TIG welding every day, I maybe only use it, you know, once a week or something. When I go back to change settings on it, I've forgotten how to use the uh, touchpad. Um, so I always find it takes me a few minutes when I want to make a change on it to remember how to actually use it. Whereas this, they've just made it really super simple. Um, just got your polarity, DC, AC, uh, TIG and stick. This is 2T and 4T, that's just you press it and let go of the switch and it goes off, that latches it on. Um, and then this is what sort of uh, they were talking about in the shop being the sort of selling point I guess of this machine is it's got an auto button. So you, um, you basically set it to auto and then you don't have to adjust any of the uh, balance or anything like that. It just sets it all for you. So um, I'm definitely interested in, in that because when you, with these ACDC machines, you only have to be a little bit out on uh, one of the many sort of setup functions and you can, you can uh, run into problems and not really realize what's going on so with this you just set it to auto and then I, I'm using a foot pedal I've got a foot pedal connected I always use a foot pedal so then you can just set your amps and that's it um, and then this here is like your basic um, upslope downslope and all that kind of stuff and it gives you a little diagram so that's this is showing gas coming out the torch so that's pre-flow And then, and then it says what it is when you select it, pre-flow, one second, start percentage, upslope, um, and then you've just got your main amp set edge and the same downslope, end current, post-flow, the amount of seconds of gas flow, uh, after you've finished your weld. So yeah, I think like in comparison to my other machine, I mean, I, I like my other machine, but that's something that's always irritated me a little bit, was forgetting how to use it. And this is definitely the most simple um, setup I have come across. So it looks like with auto on, you can still adjust your frequency. So the, uh, the frequency basically is like whether you want a sort of focused puddle or a wide one. I normally go for around 100 with, with most stuff. Um, you can adjust it. I'm just going to set this in auto. And yeah, I'm just going to, I'm basically just going to put it in auto with the foot pedal 
and leave it like that and just see see what we get. It's, uh, it's a nice machine, well built. My mate, Big Dave, just bought a Lincoln, like the, the big MIG machine, three phase thing, and I was looking at that, and it is all it's all really nicely built, built to last. The pedal's nice. It's heavy, so it stays in, uh, stays where you want it. So let's uh, do some welding then. So that is the basically auto settings, sets all the AC balance for cleaning, does all your settings for you. So that's, so I've literally um, turned the machine on, set it to auto and that, you know, away you go. With this as well, I didn't really clean the edges, you can see there. They're, um, they're like rough cut. I'm not sure how these have been cut, but um, this has been sat around. But I didn't really go to town cleaning anything. And um, with those settings, it's come out with a, with a pretty nice looking uh, weld, considering, you know, I haven't adjusted anything at all on it. So I don't know whether that's just a base setting that's been put into the machine or whether there's more trickery to it than that, I don't really know. Um, but to be able to just switch it on, press a button and weld, I think is, uh, especially if you're just learning because the settings on ACDC machines can be so easy to have something slightly out that completely throws you off. So I'm quite impressed with that. I didn't make a cube because I've got a load of them and they're uh, kind of useless so I thought I'd just uh, make a pot instead. Alright, so uh, first impressions of this are that I like it. It's um, very simple, straightforward to use. Uh, it's got really crisp start on the arc on AC and um, yeah, a very stable arc. It just seems to do exactly what you want it to do. Very nicely built. 
obviously, you know, I've only done a couple of minutes of use on it, so I'm not going to say that I've given it a uh, full review or anything like that, but uh, first impressions are, yeah, I like it. I'm going to be uh, using it for the next couple of weeks for a few jobs that I've got in, so um, I'll put a link to the offer that they've got on on this in the description and uh, you can use the OHFAB 5 code as well if you did want to get yourself one. But I'll definitely be looking into the uh, Lincoln Aspect 300 for myself, just because I do want something a little bit bigger. Um, but for general, you know, I've, I've had a 200 amp machine for the past however many years and, you know, never had an issue. Um, anything car related, that sort of size machine, you're going to be fine. Going to be uh, using it for a bit anyway, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the on my thoughts on it. But so far, so good. It's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.